and two a season ago. Nice start for Heckman this year, and she will ground that one over to fall, throwing it first is in time. Nice play by the freshman shortstop for out number two. And that was a hard hit by Heckman, but Bella Fringe. The 0-2. Line left field, and that one will be off the top of the mitt for Bella Fall. Hard hit softball there off the bat of Burns, and she's got a two-out single in inning number one. I already love what Ohio State is doing. The sophomore standout will deal the 1-1. One -one. Quarter cracks rolls over that one. McKenna Gibson is there and on to first for out number three. Ohio State strands a runner at first. Jasmine Burns is retired, and Tennessee will grab. See lots of strikeouts. She does have quite a few strikeouts, but overall, she has over a 400 batting average. And she'll roll over that one, and as you mentioned, right on time, you just get on base. Kiki Malloy all the way up to the two-hole spot, and Malloy's off and running. Kind of a quick jump, but she has gone down at second base for out number one. That was an amazing team a season ago. One of the catalysts for Tennessee and Karen Weekly getting back to the Women's College World Series. That one will get by the catcher, Burns, and now Pooney will have a free 60 feet and now a runner in scoring position for the Big Orange. To be able to beat a team like Tennessee. The 2 2. And it is lined straight into the East Tennessee sky and. Quarter cracks is there for out number two. They and be able to adjust and be like, all right, I just need to hit singles. She'll sky that one in on the infill dirt and a grab made over at second by Farley for out number three. Tennessee strands a runner down at second. Pickens and Tennessee using those new communication devices. Three, two, and is in strike three. Live pitch clock. Coach Shanley and the Buckeyes will see that in Big Ten conference play. So good to see that here early in Knoxville. And Carlin Pickens is dealing early. Libby's here this season, does the senior. And she'll line that one. And Bella Faw is there. A couple nice plays from the freshman at short. And nothing doing for Ohio State in the inning. Carlin Pickens, biggest hit of the night. About 14 hours ago now. And she'll get a hit here. Stay hot, Taylor Panel. She'll round first, and she'll glide into second with a leadoff double. Riga, she's got four long balls now here in the 24 season, and she'll draw a walk there. Emily Rucks pitch is lined back up the middle, and that play just kind of an awkward carom, but it works out perfect for the Buckeyes for out number one. You can't ask for anything better than that. Hackenbrack, she's laying it all out on the field. I level. If you ask most outfielders, they'll say, I never want to see the dirt. You just call Cut Soyanopoulos an athlete, but she'll pop up to Emily Ruck there for out number two. Hits coming off the end of their bats. They're just trying to get it through the zone because they're so early on these pitches. Go to swung on and miss, and Ruck gets a huge K, stranding two Tennessee runners here at the second. Here in her sophomore campaign. 3-2 pitch upcoming. A softly hit right side. Rodriguez will step in and fire it over to first for out number one. Teammates behind her. She'll face the nine hole and Farley here. And Farley will shoot that into the gap. The 5-6 hole. Another single for Ohio State. They're just one hit shy of tying with the nine hole spot and Farley on. And now Cordelletti will ground that over. Fall will go to first. That's her only play. And Cordelletti beats it out down the line. She has got some wheels on her. And this is where Ohio State needs. I have to watch out for either that rise ball or that off speed here from Pickens. Pickens goes off speed and gets a swing and a miss. Three strikeouts for the sophomore today right after that meeting with Coach Wheatley. The 2-2 is hit right up the middle. Pickens is there and will just soft toss that one over to first. Carlin Pickens works in and out of trouble. Two stolen bases for Kiki Malloy, but behind in the count, Owen Chu, she'll throw her hands at that one. Will it dunk in? Yes, it will. Malloy with a really hard turn, but she gets back, ball dropped, and she's standing on second base. But an opportunity here for Pooney. Ahead in the count, three and one. 
coming outside and she'll jog down to first couple on for McKenna Gibson. And again, I don't think tell that's definitely helped her at the plate. Gibson will launch that one into right. That one's going to drop down for a base hit. Malloy will round third. She will score. Taylor to third, and Tennessee takes a 1-0 lead. And just line drives. They're just these little bloops. She's still keeping Tennessee off balance. You can see right there that McKenna Gibson, she dipped her shoulder down on that left side to just get that bloop over to right field. Almost the exact same position that Malloy blooped that into right field. Ran her all the way back, Allen, over to first and just keeping an eye over at third the entire time. Allen is off and running. Quarter cracks, drops the softball. And scoring is Katie Taylor. The base running for Tennessee provides here in the third. Now that's just having softball IQ. That was ball number four. Automatically all in is taking second base. There was no reason to throw that ball down to second. So that's just an error coming in, allowing that run in from third. E2 on the catcher. A 2-1. That one, sky high into the East Tennessee afternoon, calling off everyone is the left fielder and Corletti for a big first out for Emily Ruck. And that was great communication out there in left center field. Adjust whether you're gonna see that rise change. Ninth pitch of the AB is low. Rodriguez is fired up. And Alana Leach will come to the dish with the bases loaded. I did for conference play coming up. Big situation here in the third. Strike three. Emily Ruck with a huge strike. Ruck's 3-2. Hit, launched, center field. You can kiss that baby goodbye. Where did that one land? Grand slam for Tennessee. I love it. Sophia Nugent, she was so quiet at the plate. She was sitting back in that batter's box and she just waited for that pitch to come to her. Dead center field. Sophia Nugent, welcome to Knoxville. She didn't even finish that swing. She didn't need to. She barreled up that ball, had great extension. That ball, frankly, nearly down the middle. If that, do what you do, and did she? Grand slam for Nugent. And Tennessee has blown it open in the sixth. A crooked number for the Lady Vols as Fall will ground out, but not before. Six runs. I must say, the 0-1 is launched, and what a grab over at first. Laura Mueller can do it all, and she makes a rope catch there for out number one. What? The three, two. That one hit sharply, fall on the backhand. Got her at first. That was great work, footwork. And she launches that one into the sky, but just in front of the warning track, and the grab is made by Alana Leach. One, two, three, go the Buckeyes in the fourth. Tennessee are looking to add some insurance. And school. She'll see that one up and away. And will trot down to first with nobody out. Don't swing at a pitch that you know you're not going to be able to drill hard. Malloy's off and running. Roller down to third. A nice grab made. Malloy with a big turn at third. But bump newly inserted. Gibson in this lineup. Just a matter of when. And she'll roll over that one. Quarter cracks will fire over to first for out number two in the inning. And Malloy will stay put at second. That one launched, center field, home run, almost off the top of the wall. Malloy will score, and it's an RBI double for Laura Mueller. Almost another home run for Mueller. Look at that, she sits back, drives with that back hip, explodes and extends 
right up the middle where that pitch came from. And if that ball was either towards that left field or right field, that would have been over the fence. Those fans, just alike as myself up here, looked like that one was going over the wall. But Mueller will take her first the opponent for Tennessee. And there's nothing like starting conference play. Your attitude changes, the energy changes. That one caught out in right field. Taylor Heckman wins. This is his moment. But he's also been super consistent, which I love to see as well. That one golf swinged into center field and follow up just short in this weekend. You got to be efficient. The 1-1 to bump is rolled over, and Rodriguez makes a nice play fielding to her right for the second out in the inning. She had such a great freshman season. She now has a target on her back. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Throw down is in time. Fifth strikeout of the afternoon for Carlin Pickens. It was grand in the third, and she had her number called and delivered as Destiny Rodriguez will take that one off the Evo shield and that one two is hit into the air into right field Heckman all alone will make the grab for out number one some of these players for Tennessee they said they kind of had some hiccups in the fall but really were able to figure it out Katsoyanopoulos will throw that one under the glove of Farley. Nice hitting there from Julia Katsoyanopoulos. And she says, yeah, I can get a hit myself. At the dish, and that one rolled over. This could be two for Ohio State on the first. She's safe. That one was close at first. That was an extremely close play. Falls down. at first base, but you did. The call, and she is. Safe at first, is, does Paulson go at Malloy? Setting up on that outside, and no, they will not. Burns, you could tell, wanted that one. An eighth run would win it here. And Zeta Pooney will do it in style. Goodbye. We don't want eight runs. We want 11. And number 11 with a second grand slam of the day for Tennessee. Is there any other way that Tennessee can go out? I mean, they love ending games with some big swings. That's two grand slams on the day for the Lady Balls, and they came up big. They found that timely hitting that they were missing yesterday and were re really able to kick it into gear today. Great point there, Faith. Finally, Tennessee got that timely hitting they were missing, and Zeta Pooney in style says, have you a Sunday, everybody. They're going home happy here in Knoxville. It was the home run from Sophia Nugent in the third and the capper, Zeta Pooney, here in the fifth to end it for Tennessee. What a win by Tennessee. They're going to be going into this week feeling so great.